Welcome to Lacole, I'm Chris OP and this video is all about cornering. This video is going to be focusing on some tips that are going to help you corner more safely, with more confidence and increase your efficiency whilst out on the bike. Before we get going, nothing will do more for your cornering confidence and safety than a good set of tyres that are correctly inflated. I weigh nearly 80 kilos and I have my tyres inflated to 7 bar, that's for a 25mm tyre. If you're lighter than that, you won't need to run as much pressure. Equally, if you're heavier, you'll want to put a little bit more pressure in your tyres. This is all because of the way they conform to the road surface. We have good road surfaces here, meaning I can run them at quite high pressure. If the road surface wasn't as good or it was wetter, I would let some air out. That's a rough guide. Every tyre width, every tyre manufacturer and every body weight will dictate exactly how much pressure you're going to need to run in yours. There are two fundamental rules when it comes to cornering. Number one, you need to do the majority of your braking in a straight line. This is not just to prevent slipping on wet or loose surfaces, it's also for control. That's because your bike is under most control under slight acceleration through the corner. If you're braking it, the wheels will want to stand up in a straight line, meaning the chances of running wide are slightly increased. And the second fundamental rule to remember is your body weight has to remain over the top of your tires. We're not on motorbikes, we don't have 150 kilos and big wide tires. Therefore, it's important to keep your body weight directly over the center of the tire. This will give it the most grip possible, maintaining good balance and reducing your risk of sliding out in the corner. We're now on to the single biggest skill that you need to master to become a good cyclist, and that is observation. Having good observational skills on a bike is gonna do more for your safety than any other aspect of riding a bike. When it comes to cornering specifically, we're not just looking at the road surface. We're looking at exactly how tight that corner is gonna be as we're approaching it. This becomes especially important if you're approaching a blind corner for the first time that you've never ridden before. Learning good observational skills will do more for your safety than any other skill you could possibly master as a cyclist. Never has that been truer than when it comes to cornering. After you've done a quick scan of the road surface heading into a corner, you then need to be looking for the vanishing point. This will tell you if the road is tightening up or opening up, and that will help dictate the pace that you can take riding into the corner. Now that you're mastering good observation, you're mastering good body weight placement over the bike and effective braking ahead of the corner, the next thing to do is to go out and practice. The best way to progress your cornering is to follow a more experienced bike rider. Generally speaking, they will take the correct line in the corner and have adjusted their speed before the corner begins, meaning they're gonna be that little bit safer. One final thing to remember is to never corner on the limit. If you're riding as fast as you can and really pushing the boundaries, chances are if something goes wrong, you're only going to end up on the ground. And I guarantee you, it always hurts when you hit the floor. Instead, rein it in a little to around eight tenths or even 90%. That way, if something goes wrong, you have a little margin for error, meaning you can make that correction and you will learn from the process. When it comes to initiating the corner, it's simply a very subtle body movement from the hips up towards the belly button, simply turning the bike in the direction you would like it to go. And then following that with the weight placement of the weight on the outside of the bike. So imagine we're going around to the left, all of your weight should be going down over the right-hand side of the bike, maintaining a strong center line through the tire for maximum grip. I mentioned earlier that cornering could help improve your efficiency on the bike, and it's true. By maintaining more momentum from corner to corner, you'll be spending less energy in acceleration, meaning you'll have more energy left over for the efforts that really matter when you're out on your rides. The key takeaways from this video should be your braking in a straight line, your weight over the tires, and reading the road ahead of you. Hopefully you found these tips useful and you can put them to good use on your next ride. I look forward to seeing you in another video soon.